So I just put it upside down so I can easily, you know, <laughs> put this back in. Uh, oh, I haven't tied this yet. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to tie this first. Okay, let's uh, link the controller. So, basically, you have a cable from the motor. I'm gonna link from here. And there should be some arrow show you the way put in. Yeah, right here. Okay. And then the motor come off uh, three uh, face wire and also a hole sensor. And the hole sensor will be direct to the speed controller right here. And then I will just touch on this uh, <coughs> touch on this uh, face wire. And uh, you may not get it right. You, I mean, if it is uh, not right, and uh, the motor will not running, but you can just switch. Uh, you know, yellow, blue. <laughs> uh, you have to try it. Uh, some uh, some expensive uh, controller will automatically to uh, determine the whole sensor, but this uh, but this uh, but this controller is not. So we may need to, you know, switch those to try it out. And uh, I also, like I said, there are many different functions that I don't really need. Uh, I only need, uh, so this is a basically uh, throttle. So I just say it's the end of the wire will be linked to the throttle somewhere in there. And also this, uh, Power switch. I just uh, put directly on the you know, power because whenever you you know plug in the battery, you will be power out right away. Um, yeah, this is the uh, that part, and uh, we'll put them together and then uh, try if the motor is running. Another thing is uh, my. Uh, my battery adapters so so very important it's uh, you know you got to make sure the positive goes to the positive so the, on the battery it always has mark for the positive and the negative so you can see that I'm going to plug in this way because right now it's upside down so on this side it will be positive so this side will be negative so you got to make sure on that otherwise uh, if you mess up a positive and negative we'll be burning off the controller right away uh, yeah that's the only thing yeah let's put, put them together and see how that works actually link them together you can see the face wire hole sensor and uh, battery and uh, ignition switch and then uh, I uh, temporarily link a throttle here because uh, the throttle is inside there so I have to think about you know when I actually link to the throttle I have to cut in exactly the lines I don't want to have too many waste lines in there um, so I will be flip over and then link that throttle to the to the original pack. And this will be work as well. And uh, I'm going to test out and to see if the face wire is the uh, right, right order. I'm going to pull the throttle. So the battery is already put in. Oh, you see? You see the sound? The motor actually is running, but it's running in the wrong direction. So, because uh, this is a this is a gear to have motor. They have a motor and they have a gear um, to uh, to drive the wheel. And if it's the wrong direction, that gear is you know will not running, uh, will not engage 
to that gear. So that's why you hear the motor is running, but the wheel is not running. Which means we need to uh, actually change the face wear to figure out, you know, we get to change the face wear to see if I got the right order. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the boring part. I mean, because uh, if you don't put it in the right direction, it just don't run it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to unplug the batteries. Batteries. There's no more power. So if I push the throttle, there's nothing there. Okay, and then I will just change the face wear. Yeah, after a couple of tries. So right now the screen says right now the order is right. So it's so green, yellow, and uh, blue. Yeah, you can see. If I push the swaddle, and you want to uh, test, just you put the full swaddle, and there's nothing in the heart. You know. Okay, it's worked. So right now. Right now, I'm going to test the wheel and the piston, make it a perfect circle. Because, uh, remember, I didn't really tie this up. Um, and then, uh, I think this part will be finished. And then I will flip back over and, uh, you know, tie those wires, you know, uh, make sure the old wire doesn't bother to each other. <laughs> Okay, so you make a turn and you put a finger, you know, on the side of the wheel, and then you know some is a longer distance, some is short. Then, I, then you can adjust it. Um, actually, right now it's pretty close. I don't, I don't think I really need to adjust it. I mean, when you ride for for a little bit, and then you you want to come back adjust. Okay, it's finished. So, uh, basically, we're going to share the throttle right here. So, this throttle will be control front and the rear. Both hubble motor will be control based throttle. And uh, originally, the back has a pendle assistant. So, which means, uh, if I just pendle without pushing the throttle, so you will be engaged on the rear hub. And, uh, if I gave a throttle, and both will be turned on. So, if I just plug in the battery without turn on the original system, I can still use the throttle to drive the front wheel. Okay. So if I turn on the whole system and uh, I give a throttle will be both both will be turning on. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, perfect. Everything work works well. So a quick summary when you Put the hot motor in. The first thing you got to make sure the uh, the fork, the distance between the fork will be matched with your motor, and uh, and then uh, you got to need a separate controller. You can now use the original controller to control two motors. Um, in theory, I mean, if it's two motor, exactly the same which you, you could, it's possible, and, and then I cannot say you could, it's possible to use one controller to control two motors, if that two motor is exactly the same. But uh, you, you can see it's definitely not exactly the same motor. So that's way, in that way you got to add a, another controller. But you can share the throttle, which, uh, you know, so one throttle will be controlled uh, 
two controllers to drive the motor. Uh, and uh, the and the all-wheel drive bike it's mainly for off-road. So if if you just drive on the city road, there's no reason to do that. And uh, for the off-road condition, I mean, when you drive on the dirty road, you can see my bike is so dirty because I always <laughs> ride on the dirt road. So to uh, ride on the dirt road, uh, I highly recommend you have to you need a full uh, suspension, you know, front suspension and rear suspension. Um, that's pretty much must to have. Otherwise, uh, it's just too bumpy. Uh, you you can drive so slow. I mean, with uh, full suspension, you can drive uh, more fast, and uh, it feels more more good. Boom. You know. Yeah, that's uh, that's about the uh, you know all wheel drive e bag. Hope you're learning something today. Thanks. Bye.